Welcome to this short introduction about our .NET Application Development Foundation course. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Doug Reese. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and have been since 1999. I'm certified in .NET 1, .NET 2 and of course the latest certifications of .NET 3.5. I've trained for various different companies such as QA Training and also the Training Camp or Firebrand Training. In fact, I've worked for Firebrand Training for the, over the last six years as their lead .NET instructor and as you may know, that company focuses very heavily on certification. But I'm also a real-world uh, consultant, so I've worked for Microsoft and I've also worked for companies such as BA Systems, doing consultancy in .NET, uh, ASP.NET and Windows Forms development. So I'm going to bring a lot of real-world information to our training courses. So why would you want to study online? Well, there are several reasons. One of the best ones is it allows you to study when you want to study, where you want to study. So it's really studying at your leisure. You can study in the morning, in the evenings, on weekends. It's totally up to you. The nice thing about our recorded sessions is you can replay them over and over again. So if you don't fully comprehend one of the sections, you can go back through it several times or come back to it just before you take your Microsoft exam if that's your intention. You can also work through the labs and demonstrations at your own time. That's very useful because, again, you're not under the pressure of being in a classroom environment where you only have a very limited amount of time to do those labs or work through the demos. Of course, in this day of uh, credit crunch times, we all have to watch our uh, bottom line, and therefore we wanted to offer you the cheapest way of getting effective training while still maintaining a high degree of quality, hence our recorded training sessions. And of course, if you want to be green, then there's no greener way than actually just staying at home or at the office and watching those sessions from there, rather than commuting to a training center or staying in some accommodation. So what do you get with this particular course? This course includes over 16 hours worth of instructor-led presentation and demonstrations. In fact, I like demonstrations very much and we, we heavily focus on the demonstrations. There are over 35 demonstrations in those uh, 16 hours worth of video. You'll also get, of course, all of the source code for those demonstrations so you can work through them in your own time. We also give you a downloadable copy of the slides as PDF format, so if you want to print them out and take your own notes during the course, then you can do so. You'll get a one-year one online subscription to the training course, uh, which also includes any updates. So if we make any modifications to the videos or add any extra demonstrations, you can grab those straight away from the website. If you'd prefer to have a permanent copy of the course, then you can also optionally choose for a, uh, an additional DVD. What we don't include, however, is the Microsoft Press book. This is because many of you may already have this book yourselves, and some of you may have the older version and therefore don't wish to pay for the newer updated version. We do recommend that you do have a copy of the MS Press book that we'll show you on the next slide, but if you don't have it, it is your personal choice. We also don't include any practice tests, so if you are looking to uh, prepare for your actual exam itself, then I suggest you either use the ones from the uh, practice book itself, from the, the MS Press book, or else you get them from a company such as Self-Test Software or MeasureUp. So why do we use a Microsoft Press book? Well, I've got a lot of experience of using these books. In fact, I've used them for the last eight years or so, and generally they provide a very good detailed reference. The nice thing is they're also aimed towards the exam itself. So they cover all of the objectives of the exam, maybe not in quite as much detail as you need for the exam, but of course that's where I step in and give you extra information as we go through the course. You also get a trial copy of Visual Studio 2008 included with the book, and the book itself only costs around about £30 if you purchase it online from Amazon or one of the other retailers. And you can see a screenshot of the book here. As I said, if you have the previous version of the book, you can use that. Some of the slides, of course, may not match up with the latest page numbers in the book. So there are 16 chapters in the course in total. The first one is very much an introductory chapter on framework fundamentals and includes things like object orientation, namespaces, uh, inheritance, uh, etc. The second chapter is on file input and output and streams. We then cover regular expressions by searching, modifying and looking at encoding of text. Collections and generics, a very important topic in any .NET application, the new feature of generics that was introduced in .NET 2. Serialization, the idea of taking an object from memory, converting it to a stream of information, and then serializing and deserializing that object. Very useful in all types of .NET apps, such as ASP.NET and Windows apps. Threading is a particularly complex topic, so we make sure that we spend quite a bit of time looking at that so that you'll fully understand the ins and outs of how to create multiple threaded applications. Application domains and Windows services, 
primarily focuses on how to create Windows services and how useful they can be in day-to-day -day usage. We'll also talk about application domains and show you this very interesting technique of how you can actually create your own app domains. Chapter 9 is about installing and configuring your applications. So in that chapter we'll look at things like setup projects, we'll also look at configuration files and how you can actually read and write to those config files at runtime. Logging and system management is to do with performance counters, event logs and also Windows management instrumentation. Chapter 11, application security, also known as code access security. Very important topic from an exam point of view and also quite a complex topic so we make sure that we give that good attention. Chapter 12 is on user and data security. This is to do with things such as encryption, uh, hashing and digital signatures. We'll also look at access control lists and authentication and authorization of the user. Chapter 14, sorry, chapter 13 is on interoperability and COM. This also involves how to call Windows APIs. Chapter 14 is on reflection, very important topic from an exam point of view, and also one of those slightly more tricky topics. So we'll go through that one in some depth. Wrapping up with chapter 15 on sending emails, fairly straightforward chapter, and finally chapter 16, globalization. So how to create culture information objects and attach them to your thread for doing things like uh, date time formatting, number formatting, and string formatting. Now like all courses, there are some prerequisites. This one is no exception. However, our prerequisites are really just that you have at least the basic syntax level understanding of VB.NET or C Sharp. That's so that you already know how to do things like create if statements, for statements, other loops, and declare variables. We also assume that you have perhaps played with one of the copies of Visual Studio, whether it's 2003, 2005, or even 2008. Just if you've had a play with it, that'll definitely help you towards the course. Of course, the nice thing about these courses, though, is if you find that after doing the first couple of chapters, you need to brush up on some of the basics, you can, of course, save your subscription, not view it for a couple of days, do a bit more research, and then you'll be well and truly able to continue. Uh, the course itself is over about a gigabyte in total worth of download file sizes. So if you do have a, perhaps a, a limited internet connection, you might want to consider the DVD option. We also use Silverlight 2 as our video streaming technology. That allows us to actually allow you to full screen the videos with no loss of resolution. You can also bookmark each section within a chapter and you can jump straight to that section. Finally, if you are going to do the labs themselves, then you'll need a computer capable of running Visual Studio 2008. So, that's the summary of the course. If you have any questions, please email us at support at blackbearit.com, or you can even view a free sample chapter online by going to www.blackbearit.com. Thank you very much.